Welcome again to the back page. It's ice hockey next, and many fans in the region believe this year the Castle Eden Cup here could be due for a change of ownership. And remember, we'll have the semi-final draw in a few minutes. First, Billingham showed last night they're still on the up with an important win against Bracknell. And for two Bombers fans, it rounded off the happiest day of their lives. For Jackie and Paul Stockton, it was impeccably timed. An 11 o'clock wedding, a leisurely reception. Forget the evening do. Straight to the match for a 6.30 face-off. The pressure was on the Bombers to provide the perfect wedding present. But it needed a goal from Richard Laplante to give Bombers a 3-2 lead at the end of the first period. There was nothing in it for most of the second period till Billingham started to pull clear. Paul Windrich sent them in for the second interval, 5-4 ahead. Bombers built on that for the final 20 minutes play. Adrian Smith came up with a cool finish to increase the lead. 6-4 now, but Bracknell have their sights on a playoff place. And the Clevelanders needed a defiant display from keeper Chris Hall. Greg Moore denied here at a crucial stage in the game. The married life was getting off to a good start for the Stocktons. But Patrice Lefebvre found the net in the final seconds to make it 7-5. I think it was a, an excellent performance. So we needed uh, the two points. We can only having one game. Like you know, we're still like uh, close to relegation zone. So any any a game at home is important. So we have to win our own games. And tonight was a good result for us. Thomas coach Terry Matthews believes his team are just peaking right for the Castle Eden. It's probably going to be the closest Castle Eden Cup ever because the four teams that are participating are uh, all playing well. You know. And uh, there's no reason why the Bombers couldn't win it this year. I mean, we're playing well. We'll go there. Full of confidence, hopefully it will come away with a cup. Now, unfortunately, the happy couple we saw will not be back in time for the Castle Eden Cup, which starts a week on Tuesday at Durham. Understandably, uh, the wife put a foot down on that one. Now, remember, it's Billingham, Durham, Whitley and Humberside for the Championship of the North in the Castle Eden. And we're going to draw the semi-final line-up now with the help 